and today I want to meet a very special and difficult challenge. I want to construct the world's longest German sentence. As you may know, the German language is claimed to have very long words and sentences. Also, something that I hear very often is that people find it weird that the verb is put at the very end of many German sentences. And well, even though Germans usually don't speak like that, let's have a look at how this sentence could be translated into German. Even though we won the match, the coach shouted angrily at me yesterday in the dressing room in front of the whole team. Now German. Obwohl wir das Spiel gewonnen haben, hat mich der Trainer gestern in der Umkleidekabine Wut und Brand vor der gesamten Mannschaft angeschrien. As you can see, the action that the whole sentence is about is only revealed in the very end. You have to listen to the whole sentence before you know exactly what the coach did. Of course, that's not always the case in German, but just for fun, I want the world's longest German sentence to have the verb in the very end. So that's condition number one. Condition number two is that there mustn't be any commas. I mean, otherwise you could just compose a sentence like, today I went with my funny little yellow fast cute car to the wonderful, beautiful, amazing, fantastic lake. And that would be cheating, I would say, so no commas. Also, this way there cannot be any depending clauses, which could turn the whole thing in a never-ending story as well. Last condition, no conjunctions such as and and or, because that would also mean that the sentence could be eternally long. Yesterday at the zoo I saw a giraffe and an elephant and a lion and a camel and a rhino and a you get the point. And of course some small things, such as the main character of your sentence cannot have 20,000 names. So are you ready? Then let's give this a try. What about... An einem besonders heißen Sommernachmittag im Juli vergangenen Jahres wurde Andreas nur wenige Meter vor dem angrenzenden Supermarkt von einem affenähnlich aussehenden Muskelprotz ins Gesicht geschlagen. 26 words. We can do better. Let's say Andreas looks very young for his age. An einem besonders heißen Sommernachmittag im Juli vergangenen Jahres wurde der für einen 38-Jährigen sehr jung anheimelnde Andreas nur wenige Meter vor dem angrenzenden Supermarkt von einem affenähnlich aussehenden Muskelprotz ins Gesicht geschlagen. But what else happened that day? What if Andreas went to a play before? He took his car there. Oh, and the weather was bad. There was a thunderstorm. An einem besonders heißen Sommernachmittag im Juli vergangenen Jahres wurde der für einen 38-Jährigen sehr jung anheimelnde Andreas einige Stunden nach dem im Anschluss an eine vierstündige Autofahrt bei starkem Gewitter von ihm besuchten Theaterstück nur wenige Meter vor dem angrenzenden Supermarkt von einem affenähnlich aussehenden Muskelprotz ins Gesicht geschlagen. 50 words. Not bad, but... did it. I constructed the world's longest German sentence. An einem besonders heißen Sommernachmittag im Juli vergangenen Jahres wurde der für einen beinahe 38-jährigen Mann sehr jung anheimelnde Andreas Oppenhöfel einige Stunden nach dem im Anschluss an eine vierstündige Autofahrt bei starkem Gewitter von ihm besuchten Theaterstück mit außerordentlich untalentierten Schauspielern in den wichtigsten Rollen nur wenige Meter vor dem angrenzenden Supermarkt neben der stillgelegten Tankstelle sehr kraftvoll von einem affenähnlich aussehenden Muskelprotz mit auf widerlichste Weise fettig glänzenden Haaren ohne die Nennung von Gründen unter Verwendung eines gebundenen Exemplares des Gesetzes zur Regelung des Rechts der Untersuchungsausschüsse des Deutschen Bundestags in sein von diesem Tag an nicht mehr uneingeschränkt als hübsch zu bezeichnendes Gesicht geboxt. I have neither enough saliva nor enough breath for a sentence like that. These were a hundred and seven words, eight hundred twenty-four characters. 
no commas, no conjunctions, the verb in the very end. Did you just witness a world record? But Trixie, I don't speak German. What does the sentence mean? Don't worry, I'm gonna translate it. The sentence means the following. On a particularly hot summer day in July last year, after watching a play with extraordinarily weak actors in the lead roles that he needed to take a four hour long car ride during a heavy thunderstorm for, Andreas Oppenhöfel, who looks young for an almost 38 year old man, was punched in the face that cannot be unrestrictedly described as pretty any longer by a monkey-like looking muscle man with the most disgusting hair, shiny from Greece, without mentioning reasons, using a bound hard copy of the Law for the Regulation of Rights for the Investigation Committee of the German Bundestag, only a couple of meters from the front of a close-by supermarket next to a tank stop that had been taken out of service. I'm pretty sure that I totally messed up the grammar of the English translation, but at least you get the point of what the sentence was about. So what do you say? Are you at least a little bit impressed? Obviously, there will be people saying, Ah, 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 right when you said blah, blah, you actually have to use a comma. Me, me, me. But look, I tried my best. This already took ages and I think the sentence turned out pretty cool. So hold your horses. Now I really want to know, can you come up with a sentence better than this? Do you have ideas to improve it even more, to make it even longer? I bet we can add an adjective here or there, squeeze in some words, so tell me your suggestions. Also, what does a sentence like this tell you about the German language? What's your impression about it now? I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If so, please leave a thumbs up because that would make me very, very happy. As always, you can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram or Facebook and here is a video that you should definitely check out as well. Subscribe to Don't Trust the Rabbit for more videos like this and if you want to support my channel even more, you can also find me on Patreon. I would appreciate your help so, so much. Now I wish you all a wonderful day. Check out my other videos if you'd like to and hopefully until next time. Bye!